Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's makeup look, as you can tell, this is what I'm gonna show you guys today, how to create this cute little gingerbread on my forehead, and of course the eyeshadow, the glam, the lipstick, everything. Usually I don't do creative makeup looks for YouTube, but today I was like, you know what? I feel like in the spirit of Christmas, and of course I did film this for TikTok and Instagram también, but I really wanted to sit down and break down and do step by step on how I create this. I also did a little bow for my hair. If you want a tutorial, let me know down below and I can definitely do a tutorial for you guys on the hair. So go ahead and take out your brushes, your palettes, y vamos a transformarnos into this cute gingerbread makeup look. All right, you guys, let's get this going. So for my primer today, I'm gonna go into my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light. For the palette, using the P. Louise Go Shouty, it's your birthday palette. Um, and I'm gonna create a cut crease. So the first shade is called Feeling 30, a dark brown shade. And then to blend out the edges, I'm gonna go into Best Life. And I'm just gonna also bring it into the shade called Feeling 30. And then I'm just gonna blend those two together. And then I'm gonna take Wish Come True, this like brown, sh light brown shade, and blend out those harsh lines. And then taking the shade called Pisces, Pisces, <laughs> Pisces, <laughs> Pisces, baby, and just blend all of these together and apply it on my brow bone in the inner corner. Um, and then to cut my crease, I'm gonna use the concealer again, the Tarte Shape Tape, and just create that cut crease. So I wanted to do a half cut crease, but I changed my mind. <laughs> and then to set that, I'm gonna go into Forever Loyal, this like bony nude color and just set everything to create a smoked out wing i'm going to go back into best life um, and then i'm going to clean up any fallout that i have on my face um, before we do go in with the skin products so i'm going to start off with a primer i'm going to take my hydro um, primer from milk cosmetics and then my nars um, soft matte foundation and poon job so i'm doing a full coverage beat today you guys i haven't used this foundation because i've been really obsessed with like my dior um backstage foundation but it was so nice to use a full coverage um foundation today how many times can i say foundation in this video <laughs> and then my charlotte tilbury cream bronzer in medium two i want this look to be very bronzy because obviously it's a gingerbread inspired look so everything's gonna be very bronzy and a little bit heavier because obviously I want to look very chocolatey. Um, and then I'm also going to apply that on the sides of my nose. I'm going to go back into the Tarte Shave Tape Concealer and I'm going to place it normally where I place my concealer. <laughs> Fun fact, I haven't played with the Tarte Shave Tape Concealer like on my skin in such a long time that it was actually really nice to play with it because it's very full coverage. So if you guys like a full coverage concealer, like this Tarte Shape Tape is seriously so good. Um, it was like viral years ago. Like it was like the must have concealer, but I can totally see why it's really good. I really fell in love with the coverage. So I'm definitely gonna be using it a lot more. I'm gonna go back into the, just my brush that I use to apply my cream contour just to blend the lines out. And then my translucent powder from One Size Beauty. Um, I love this powder, especially if you are oily. Um, I feel like my makeup stays locked in all day and I just love how like soft and smooth my skin looks after using this powder. I do apply it in my eyebrows, so that way my brows don't look oily. And then taking my Duo Mini Bronzer from Benefit using the shade Hula Light to set my cream contour. For highlight, my Anastasia Sun Idol. I've been low-key obsessed with this. I didn't think I would like it this much, but I've been really liking it. <laughs> and then taking a nude eyeliner from Tres Lucid in my waterline. And then jumping into my NYX Cosmetics Deepest Brown Liner to apply it towards that bottom lash line. And then we're going to just smoke it out with the same shades that we used in the crease. 
I'm gonna wipe off the translucent powder and pretty much just set my face with the remaining powder. And then taking my NARS Laguna bronzer um, and bronze myself a lot. So I'm gonna go in very heavy today with the bronzer because again, I wanna look very like gingerbread toasty. Um, and then taking Gingerly Blush from MAC Cosmetics, an oldie but a goodie. I love this matte blush. And then my Benefit Bad Gal Bang Mascara from my lower lashes. Now here comes the fun part. So when it comes to creating like anything on my face and I want to draw on myself, I always go into like a nude, a white um, eyeliner to kind of sketch out what I want to do first because I feel like with white or a cream nude color is really easy to just erase and like touch up versus if you go in with black it's really hard so i got this reference picture from google of a gingerbread because i wanted it to be different i've seen this particular makeup look a lot on pinterest and i feel like all the gingerbreads like i didn't personally like them so i was like you know what let me go to google and see if i can find like a really cute little gingerbread so right here i'm just sketching it out on how i want my gingerbread to look um, so again, go in with like a nude or a white eyeliner. And then I'm going to go into my Mayron body paint. Um, it's called the Paradise Face Palette. And then I'm going to go into that light brown shade. And it just reminded me of like a cookie color. You know what I mean? So now I'm just going to start to like outline and fill in my gingerbread. Um, of course, I'm going to avoid where like the mouth and like the little wiggly lines all by the hands and the bow and the buttons. I want to avoid it and just kind of go around it and fill it in um, at the end i didn't show it in the video but i do set it with translucent powder once i'm done with my little gingerbread um, but yeah you want to make sure you fill it in i do use a very small brush this is not a paintbrush it's like a makeup brush i think i got it from like a makeup set i don't remember and then i'm just gonna use like a fluffy brush to like blend the paint going down and blend that in with my foundation. Taking a darker brown from the same Mayron body paint palette, I'm gonna outline with that chocolate brown and I'm gonna outline my little gingerbread man. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna call him just yet. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go into white paint and I'm just gonna fill in the eyes, the mouth. Um, the only thing I'm not gonna paint white is the bow and then the buttons going down underneath the bow. And then I'm going to go back into the brown, the chocolate brown paint, and I'm going to outline um, the eyes, the mouth, pretty much everything I'm going to outline. And then you guys, I'm going to go into some red paint and do the buttons, and then I'm going to outline the bow again, like I mentioned a little bit ago, with the dark brown paint. And then taking this glitter from Golden Paradise, and the shade is called Golden. It's from an Instagram brand, like a small brand, so definitely check them out using my NYX um, glitter adhesive first and then gonna go into the glitter right on top and I wanted my bow to look very cute you know very festive and glittery <laughs> and then taking just like a dark brown eyeshadow to highlight or shadow sorry create some shadows of the gingerbread that way it pops more and it can look a little bit more realistic um, I do go in between the white lines around the mouth and the eyes so I um, shade everything so that way it pops and then of course she lash lashes my brand in the style she chingona we're currently sold out but i should get them here very soon again to restock taking the white face paint again and just creating like little freckles little white dots on my face and then i wanted to create some snowflakes on my face this part you guys you can get very creative i've seen people put glitter rhinestones on their face create many different shapes um, but I really wanted just to, um, I've, I've even seen people do like a gingerbread um, on their face, tambien, like a little baby one, but you can get very creative. But today I just really wanted to just keep it very simple. I do apply them in different parts of my face. Again, like I said, you can get very creative and just do whatever your little heart desires. I am using the white paint from the Mayron face palette. And that again, that very small, skinny little detailed brush is a must especially if you're doing snowflakes um, and you don't want them to look super thick it's really important to go in with a very thin brush for my lip combo today i'm gonna go into the p louise lip pencil in the shade speed dial i've been really obsessed with this lip pencil well i mean personally for me you guys i love chocolate brown lip pencils the best um, I love pairing it up with like a nude 
um, liquid matte lipstick or a nude lipstick it's just like my obsession <laughs> but I love how like easily this blends out um, so it's a really good lip pencil um, for my liquid matte lipstick today I'm going to go into the Morphe sweet tea I wanted something very toasty very chocolatey um, I feel like it went perfect with this makeup look all right, you guys, and that is it for today's Christmas gingerbread makeup look. What do you guys think about this makeup look? Of course, yes, Simon, if you felt inspired by this look, do not forget to tag me on Instagram and on TikTok and here on YouTube if you do decide to create this. If you want me to create more Christmas looks like this, like the fun ones, let me know down below or give this video a thumbs up. As always, yes, Simon, que todos los productos will be listed down below. But if I do forget anything, don't be shy. Let me know and I can respond to your comment if I forgot a specific product that I use for today's glam but I love it it is so cute it's so festive and I am so ready for Christmas so with that said I love you guys so much take care and do not forget to follow me on TikTok and on Instagram since I do post there daily and of course if you're not part of my family my YouTube glam family hit that subscribe button before you do leave today and I will see you guys in my next video I love you bye I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about